Coming in at 31 feet, 11 inches, 6,400 pounds dry. Sure, this beauty will sleep six, eh, maybe eight, depending on the configuration, but this is a rear living couples coach I think you're gonna love. Talk about putting the recreation in RV. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Coleman knows camping. And what they've done with the 2715RL is they've given you a very functional multi-use couples coach. What do I mean by that? Well, as you can see right here on the rear wall of this 31 foot 11 inch coach, you're gonna see dominated by a huge panoramic window I got two comfy chairs right here, plush and comfortable. And as you can see, good space between the two as well. So if I wanted to turn one, kick it back, recline, I could. Plus I got my little end table right here with 110 charging. This is where you could sit back with the loved one, read a book, maybe talk about, I got the mountains right here, I got the beach right there, the lake right here behind me or grandma's house, wherever. Wherever you want to go with your RV, you're going to have it. And then when you need some storage, right up above you here in these over 80 inches high of clearance ceilings, you got frosted glass inlay, shaker style cabinets with the matte black poles, giving you some good high storage. Now, one thing too, you can probably hear it rumbling a little bit in the background, is the Coleman AC. I wanted you to kind of hear what it sounds like when it's running. Right now, the duck is closed. The dump is closed. If I close it, Open it, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, get that nice dump of cool air. When you don't have it open, you got the blade distribution system, which is that racetrack style. It gives you about 30% more efficiency in the cooling of the unit. Really does a good job of bringing this RV down to where you want it. Decorative valances around your windows all the way around this coach. And we're gonna move over here to the off camp side where we have a super slide housing the booth dinette and my incliners let me show you what i mean but also check it out bobby no carpet on the slides nope got that upgraded linoleum flooring easy to clean slip resistant and when i want to sit down sure we've had jackknife sofas people know what they're like by now hopefully they're comfortable they're plush got the leather at style but my buddy ian baker went to coleman and said hey why don't you just give me a little something extra why don't you give me a way i can just kick back a little bit Coleman did it. And I got to tell you, this is a very nice addition to a great seating space already. Sit here with the loved ones, watch TV, or just chat. Enjoy what's going on behind me. And then when it's time for this to convert into a sleeper, they even gave you a handy dandy little strap. You can see you got some storage under there. Bam. Got your little jackknife sofa. Handy dandy to sleep. Over here on the campsite, you'll see I got my modified L-shaped kitchen right here with my gunmetal style stainless steel sink undermounted with the apron, high rise faucet here. Plus gone is the T-mold. I got that molded ended pressed surface countertop decorative. This is the cobalt decor. So you're gonna get a lot of gray and a lot of white. As a matter of fact, the cabinets are that kind of grayish color. You'll see you got good storage up here as well. Flush mounted three burner cooktop over here, LED light on the controls, as well as a 16 inch Greystone oven. Got my hood, my microwave, and I got my Dometic fridge freezer combo that is gas electric with the automatic switch right there. Good space for those long weekend getaways. And I like how the gray face on this kind of matches the flow of my 2715RL. We are set up too for 4G LTE Wi-Fi prep. You got the wine guard pre-wire in there. That's always a great service if you need to stay connected while on the road. Good pantry space in here as well. Got the solid shelves in there. The only thing I don't like, Bobby, that's a miss. That's a miss. But Chris, all that big kitchen space, the drawers. Did we even show the drawers? Look at it. Look at this door down here for the trash can. Look at it. Look at the big drawer right here, solid wood, full extension, ball bearing drive. But Chris, it's not enough space. What if you need a panic room, as Bobby calls it? Well, right behind the entertainment center, your pantry is expanded. You got the hideaway, 
little spots right there, little magnets to keep the door in place. Plus, you got your cable connection and power connection for your entertainment center, which is on this side over here. And if Bobby can get around the cables, he can come out, we'll show you. Um, I like how they did this because this does kind of maximize the space. Uh, and it gives you another option for just cool stuff. You got extra pantry in there. You got a TV on the swivel. You got your drive. AM FM command center. It's got HDMI, USB, as well as Bluetooth, dual zone, and you got the fireplace right there. You got a little multi flame setting, multi light setting. Does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Roughly, you know, 4,000 BTUs on that to go along with your AC and your furnace down here. Got your Dometic HVAC controls. And then, last but not least, here in the living area, you got your booth dinette with the LED light underneath, storage under both sides. This does reduce down into a sleeper wood inlay with my led lights got the balance there the large panoramic windows the thing i like about this area here this is the memory making spot where if you're the active couple you want to set something up on some property and use it as like a little vacation spot or you know you, you know you get the grandkids coming to visit or maybe the kids are going to come visit uh, you just need that potential additional sleeping space when you're enjoying those camp cook meals, you're enjoying those card games, you're enjoying those board games, whatever, you're making memories right here in your RV. And that's what RVing is all about. It's a piece of metal, but it's made to make memories in. So it's more than just, oh, well, you know, this floor plan looks great. What are you and your loved ones gonna enjoy? You enjoy making memories right here. Pass through bathroom leading me into my master too. Check out the space here. This is why I like my separation of space because you got a pocket door here, pocket door there. If I need to use the bathroom and I'm sleeping in the master, I can get up. I won't wake anybody up in here. I got the corner mounted porcelain bowl, high rise with the foot flush. Plus I got my little herringbone patterned shower, not cramped. Not cramped at all, 30 by 36 in here. Plus I got the skylight, got my little shower nozzle controls, and I got plenty of space over there. Countertop, large vanity sink, plus I got a little door underneath and a mirrored medicine cabinet up top. <clears throat> With the raised lips, look at that, Bobby. Only thing missing in there, extra linen space, but it's a couple's coach. So you got the hanger, you got the countertop, you know? Me, I, I just like additional linen space. So, so if I were you, I would get like that additional little linen stacker you could put right there. Come in here, you got a 60 by 80 queen bed, strut supported storage underneath, mirrored wards on both sides. Plus you got the frosted glass inlay here and my storage up top. I got nightstand space with dual USB charging. Plus I got the pullout drawer over there. So I got a CPAP machine or whatever, I'll be good. LCD TV mounting bracket over here in the off camp wall, as well as cable 110. I'm pre-wired too for another AC. So if I want to put another AC in here, I absolutely could. And I got a separate entry. That's the other thing that makes the 2715 so great for those active couples that also might want to bring the family along because you can come and go if the kids are in there sleeping, right? I mean, just all in all, Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it for so long and every year they make upgrades that makes camping more fun makes it more enjoyable so you want to do it again we've seen the inside of this beautiful 2715 rl what do you say we go take a look at the outside so here we are on the outside of the all-new 2022 coleman light 2715 rl great little couples coach 6200 pounds dry 31 feet, 11 inches. Let's just call it 32 feet. Right up front, you're gonna see that aerodynamic profile here on the front, that painted fiberglass end cap. You got the inlays there to help with the wind resistance, plus the mini diamond plated rock guard on the bottom, the LED running lights. Up front, you got twin 20 pound LP tanks right in front of your battery rail, as well as a powered tongue jack. Great for setting up and tearing down at the campground. Plus we got the little LED light there with our rocker switches all seated on top of that 10 inch single welded frame, really giving you some good support for this coach. Come around to the campsite. Now, this is what I like about Coleman. 
how about up to 52 and a half square feet of storage space and some of their units. But what they did on all of them this year was they expanded the size and the height of the entry doors. So if you had those camp chairs or you got those grills, you could slide them in there. You'll see right there, we got the griddle, which comes with this 2715RL LED light strip, finished off and complete pass through storage. There's that aluminum frame that we have in here. That Luan panel as well, plus magnetic anti-slam doors and covered hinges, 10 amp quick connect, or excuse me, 20 amp quick connect for your solar panels. Great little addition to buy for any RV because that'll help trickle charge the battery. You got powered stabilizer jacks in the front and the rear, plus a heated, or excuse me, an enclosed underbelly on this one as well. Having that enclosure as well as the insulation is gonna help with making this a three season coach like the fiberglass exterior here. There you see the door leading into the master bedroom with those steel fold up steps. 18 foot awning here with the LED light strip. TV mounts, if you wanna bring a TV out here, you can. Plus you got your cable connection as well as your GFCI outlet right behind there. Got the aluminum rims on the Dexter Easy Lube axles right here. Gonna do a good job of giving you some good shock absorption while going down the road. Freshwater connection there, marine grade speakers up top, solid step over steps leading me into the main entry point here. And the thing I like about what they've done recently in the past few years with the solid steps, they've made the top one a little bit bigger. Not only does that help with safety and security, but it also is pet friendly. Extra large grab handle leading you into the main entry point as well. Come around to the rear, you'll see we got the spare tire mounted on the back, four by four sewer hose storage, cable connection, as well as my 30 amp plug there, excuse me, 50 amp plug there, large panoramic window. This is what I was talking about. You remember how on the inside, you can see the back of the recliners right there. Imagine you and your loved one just sitting here, checking out nature, man. What's reading a book, reading a newspaper, just hanging out and making memories. Love it. Backup camera up there, arch ceiling with the three inch rain nozzles. Got the slide right here. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> and coming around over here on the office cab side, you got your main terminations as well as external shower with hot and cold, city water connection, and black tank flush. Now, for your terminations down here, the thing about Coleman, they usually give you pretty good tank sizes. So fresh water, you got 60 gallon. Gray, you got 39. And black, you got 28. Other side of the pass-through storage, there, I just like how we just got the magnetic anti-slam doors with the covered hinges. And Ian, yes, sir. the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel right here, man. Absolutely, buddy. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah you want to make sure you're safe. Yeah, this is where people come to see how much this thing weighs. So unloaded weight, 6,400 pounds. Mm -hmm. Gross vehicle weight, 9,680. That's where... That's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. That's a lot of big difference weight. Mm -hmm. But people can bring that back to their folks at Camping World and say, hey, Ian, what does that mean? Here's, yeah. here's my tuck control. Here's what my truck could tow. That's the same thing. <laughs> tuck control. Yeah, yeah, tuck control. Uh -huh. Here's how many people on the sleep. Here's where we're going to go camping. Absolutely. Now, you agree with me on this one. We get that information. We can find the RV of people's dreams easily. Yeah, for sure. We can take that information. We have a ton of inventory and we can help you narrow it down because it can be a pretty daunting search at first. So yeah. lean on us. Yeah, lean on us and we'll make it happen. But if you're an active couple, you want that space to sleep, maybe a couple extra folks with all the features and amenities you're going to get with that Coleman Light Series, 31 feet, 11 inches. Got to tell you, you got to put the 2715RL at the top of your list. But do us a favor. Leave us some comments down below and let us know what you like about it. What you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. Yeah. And while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify because you never know. RV of your dreams might be waiting for you in the inbox when you get home. There you go.